Skin Markers Skin markers serve as clues to the diagnosis of specific conditions. Some important skin markers to be looked for in order to get a clue to the diagnosis in a patient are Purplish striae over the lower anterior abdominal wall is seen in Cushing syndrome. Erythema marginatum are macular lesions with erythematous rim and central clearing in a bathing suit distribution and seen in early rheumatic fever. Adenoma sebaceum is a misnamed cutaneous disorder consisting of angiofibromas that begin in childhood, that is, generally present between 2 to 5 years of age and appear clinically as red papules on the face, especially on the nasolabial folds, cheek and chin, mostly thought to be acne not responding to treatment. It is commonly associated with tuberous sclerosis. Gradually, the papules become more prominent with time and persist throughout life. Chagrin patch refers to an irregularly shaped, irregularly thickened, and slightly elevated soft skin colored patch. It is associated with tuberous sclerosis. Ash leaf spots are a diagnostic manifestation of tuberous sclerosis complex. These are hypomelanotic macules, otherwise known as ash leaf spots, due to their resemblance to mountain ash leaves. Commonly seen in the trunk and lower extremities. Hemangioma is a birthmark that often appears as a rubbery, bright red nodule of extra blood vessels. It can appear on the face, scalp, chest, or back. Hemangiomas are seen more frequently among premature infants. They are usually present externally, but may also be present in the central nervous system. Telangiectasia is known as dilatation of superficial blood vessels. They are seen in ataxia telangiectasia. Multiple telangiectasias are seen in osler rendu weber syndrome, in which AV malformations are found in the lung, liver, central nervous system, and mucous membranes. Spider angioma, also known as spider nevus or spider telangiectasia, is a vascular lesion characterized by anomalous dilatation of end vasculature found just beneath the skin surface. The lesion contains a central, red spot, and reddish extensions, which radiate outward like a spider's web. Spider angiomas are usually benign, but often can be suggestive of an underlying systemic disease, such as cirrhosis, rheumatoid arthritis, or thyrotoxicosis. Palmer erythema is a rare skin condition, where the palms of both hands become reddish. It is also known as liver palms, red palms, or Lange's disease. Causes of Palmer erythema include decompensated liver disease, chronic febrile illness, chronic leukemias, polycythemia, rheumatoid arthritis, thyrotoxicosis, chronic alcohol intake, and may also be seen in physiological states, like pregnancy. Erythema nodosum is a painful disorder characterized by tender bumps or nodules under the skin. This is a nonspecific skin marker and may be seen in conditions like primary complex, sarcoidosis, and with certain drugs. Neurofibromatoses are a group of genetic disorders that cause tumors to form on nerve tissue associated with von Recklinghausen's disease. Xanthomas are characterized by accumulations of lipid-laden macrophages. Xanthomas can develop in the setting of altered systemic lipid metabolism or as a result of local cell dysfunction. They are seen in hyperlipidemia. A lipoma is a benign tumor made up of fat tissue. Lipomas are slow growing and usually harmless. Lipoma over the lower lumbar region in the back may indicate the presence of a spina bifida. A tuft of hair over the lower lumbar region in the back may indicate the presence of a spina bifida. Pigmentation of the mucous membrane of the oral cavity may be seen in Addison's disease and also in Butz-Jaeger's syndrome. To get more such high-yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. The City Med. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.